What's up guys, welcome to your 85th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is I'm just going to show you how to set up a tab within code alone within Java. Um, for example, if you're making like a web browser of some sort. Um, so it's going to be pretty simple. Um, nothing too new for the most part, but uh, a little bit new. So first we just need to set up our reference bridges. So we're going to say button and we're going to say new tab. And this is going to, again, we have to import the button. And I'm also going to set up kind of the references for the next tutorial where we're going to get build a simple um, simple stopwatch application. So find view by ID. Oops, find view by ID. And um, so again, just set up a couple of these references. For this one, we're just going to use one button, um, but we're going to also set up our button uh, start and our button stop for our stopwatch from uh, for our next application. So, pretty boring stuff here. Probably should have just clipped the video and done this. Save you guys the hassle, but. Now we're also going to add our on-click listener, so we're going to say new tab dot set on-click listener this, and we're going to implement on-click, and we're going to set up just a switch in case here. I know these tutorials have kind of been dull lately. They haven't been as, as awesome, but we will get into some awesome stuff. I just kind of wanted to go back. You know, it's just like when you work out, when you're trying to lose weight, you don't want to just kind of jog every day. You want to run one day or like run and then like walk a little bit and then sprint as fast as you can. Um, so that's kind of the way I'm teaching as well. Like we start out really fast and we went really slow. Then we went kind of, kind of fast. Now we're going kind of slow again. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a poor excuse, but uh, yeah, the, the tutorials will get more interesting as well. So don't worry about that. So we're gonna say button add tab. Then we're gonna do what's ever within here, and also case r dot id dot button start watch break and case. button stopwatch alright so now that we have everything set up we can actually do some work so what we're gonna do is within our button add tab this is where we're gonna add a new tab so all we have to do is basically um, we're gonna make our tab host so the first thing that so the first thing that we're gonna do is create this tab host to be kind of a um, a variable we can use within multiple classes so we're just going to paste it here and uh, where is it should organize my code a little bit better here um, so there we go so now we can use our tab host within our on click method hopefully you guys know why by now um, but and then what, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, we're going to set up a new spec so we're going to say tab spec and we're going to call this our spec, something like that. We're going to set this equal to our th, which is our tab host we just um, made a reference to. And then we're going to say new tab spec. And then we're going to say, again, like tag one or something. Since it's kind of a new spec, we're just going to you know, set that up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to define our actual spec and our content within this, this on click method. And then we're going to set it up uh, to create a new tab. So it's kind of beneficial if you guys were creating some kind of a browser application. And so we're going to say our, our spec dot set content. And this time we aren't going to, we're just going to create our own content. So what we're going to do is we're going to say new um, tab host instead of saying like r.id um, like we did up here we're going to say new tab host dot set uh, tab content factory 
that's going to allow us to build our own little application, our own um, content for the most part. And so we're going to finish off our statement first here so we don't get confused. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go within this public view. And then within this tab construction, we're just going to create a new text view. So we're just going to say text view text equals new text view this um, and then we're going to set up our text view got to import text view and then we're going to say text dot set text to you've created a new tab and then what we can do is we can instead we can return and then we can just return that variable t called text whoops um, that we just created here and uh, oops, I'm getting this error right here because what we have to do right now it's trying to think of the context of this but we want it to be our class name so our class name which was called tabs dot this um, so again our just our class name right there and then semicolon there now it's going to return this text every time we uh, basically what we've done is every time we press that button we're going to set up a new spec and we're going to set the content through the uh, tab content factory which is going to say create tab contact content um, and uh, basically we just set up a text view and then we set the text of that text view and that's what we're returning uh, that's act actual information that's going to set up so then we go outside of this bracket right here then what we do is we, then we're going to set uh, our spec again dot set indicator and we're gonna say new or new something like that and then again we just refer to and then again we just refer to our tab host and then we just say add oops tab host add tab and we're gonna say our spec So I don't know if I went too quickly through that, but hopefully you guys understood everything that we did. Um, and let's just run it, make sure it works. But just remember back to the beginning of this series where you guys would look at something like this and you'd be like, what the, you'd be like, what the heck is he talking about? And now I bet you guys can kind of look through this and figure out everything that's going on. So let's check this out and uh, we're going to go into our tabs. We're going to go into our third tab where we set this add a tab. And as you can see, it creates this new tab up here. We click on it, and it says you've created a new tab. And then we can click on it again, create new tab, new tab, new tab, new tab. Um, so basically, you can create new tabs within Java as well. And also, we didn't have to just set up a text view. We could have done, again, a reference to a layout of some sort if we would have preferred. So um, hopefully you guys kind of understood that tutorial. I know it was kind of quick, and we... I don't know. Hopefully it wasn't too complicated, though, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.